The supplies have started coming in to lay the hardwood flooring down, so getting ready to do that. However, while I was preparing the subfloor, I did run into a problem. I found this crack and it was really kind of squishy and I don't want the floors to creak, so I'm gonna fix it. To fix this, um, there's a pretty simple plan. What I need to do is cut the bad piece of uh, board out and replace it with a new piece of plywood. And to do that, you'll see on the seam right here, this is just empty space. The studs follow these nail lines. What I'll do is I'll cut a piece of section out from this. It's about 16 inches long. Um, you know, just make a 16 by 16 inch square because there's 16 inches between the studs. And then I'll replace and glue and screw back in the, the replacement board. The first step in this repair is I'm gonna cut a small section of this out. And the reason I'm gonna cut a small section out is one, I'm not sure how thick this plywood is and I wanna get a sample. The second thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to get a peek underneath and see that there's no pipes or anything else. So to do that, I'm gonna use this oscillating tool. Okay, I got the piece of uh, plywood removed and measuring it, it is three quarter inch plywood, which is what I was hoping it was. So now I'm gonna have to just mark out some lines um, across here and then cut this section out. Now the, there's, the oscillating saw is not gonna work well for this. It was great for taking off a little tiny piece and having pretty fine control of it. I'm gonna have to use a circular saw. Okay, so to mark the floor, I'm gonna use this drywall T-square. The reason I'm gonna use this is this top edge is exactly the same width as a two by four. If I'm gonna lay this over and you can see the two nails that are in this joint right here, I can use this to kind of give me an idea where the outside edge is. So I'm going to lay this here. I'm gonna line this edge up with the long part of the, of the plywood. I'm gonna move just a little off the edge just in case I don't wanna hit the stud. I'm going to mark this line. So that's my first cut line. I'm gonna mark off the other side in a similar way. Measure 16 inches and mark this across. So now with the floor marked, it's time to cut it out. So I'm gonna start this cut by measuring the blade of the saw and making sure it is set to three quarters of an inch. Measure it off and then lock it back down. To make this cut, I'm gonna have to plunge cut down into the wood. And to do that, I'm gonna have to hold up the safety bracket. So what I'll do first is I wanna make sure I cut through the wood and not too far after measuring it. So I'm gonna make sure I'm not behind the saw because the worst case scenario is the saw is gonna kick backwards with the blade. So I'm gonna start here, plunge down right in the middle of the cut that I'm gonna make and just test the depth of the blade. Okay, that cut down perfectly through, so now I'm just gonna follow up by making my other cuts. Okay. 
Now because of the nature of the uh, circular saw, it can't go all the way up to the edge in the corners, so I'm going to have to take out the oscillating saw again just to finish up these cuts. <laughs> With the plywood removed, all we need to do is box this out with two by fours. And we're gonna come under each ledge about half the two by four. That should leave us a lip to run around. That way when we cut the new replacement plywood piece, we'll just put it down, we'll be able to screw around the edges and then nail or screw right back into that to replace this hole. So now that I got all the wood cut, I'm gonna build the box frame that I'll then lay the new piece of plywood on top of. I'm attaching this just with screws quickly to hold it in place, but I'm also gonna put uh, nails in for uh, more structural rigidity. So this is a basic framed out box. The only thing I did differently here is I added this second header piece across the top. This is just to give me a little bit more area to attach the plywood since I cut into it. Just a couple more nails. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this wood frame inside the gap. Okay, so now that it's in place, I will quickly put in a couple nails just to hold it. And now I'll just add some construction screws around the edges to uh, secure it all in place. Okay, that's all done. Now we just gotta cut the piece of plywood and then screw and glue that down and we're done. Okay, so now that we got the new piece of subfloor, I'm gonna take the old piece that I cut out and I'm gonna slide it up to the corner so that I can trace out with the minimum amount of cuts the outline of the old piece. Now I just need to cut this out with either a jigsaw or with a circular saw and I can then take the matching piece and place it back into the empty spot. Time to make the cut. I got the new subfloor resting on some 2x4 so I don't cut back into the floor. I got the blade adjusted correctly. I extended the line out so I can cut straight through in one pass and now it's time to start cutting. So now I'm going to dry fit this piece of board in, um, but before I do that, I'm going to put a screw in. Um, I'm going to need to put these in anyway to secure this down, but having one partially started right now will give me something to use to pull it out if the fit's a little tight. Okay, now I'll just dry fit this in. Perfect fit. What we'll do now is I'll remove this. We'll put some construction adhesive all around the outside edges. Then we'll put the board back down in and we will screw it down and then we'll be done. Okay, I got the construction adhesive. The type I'm using is PL400 subfloor. Um, 
It's made by Loctite, it's pretty easy to get almost anywhere. So I'm gonna put a pretty liberal amount because I do want the floor to stick down and not squeak. I'm gonna place the board back in. Also, you may or may not notice, but off camera I did uh, drill some pilot holes in the wood. It's just easier to make it so that I could set up the screws. Um, it's not through the board, but make it much, much easier when it comes time to tighten this down, not to have to hold the screw in my hand. I'm putting these screws about every five to six inches. Okay, now I just need to start screwing all these down. I am trying to screw these in at a slight angle to make sure that they make contact with the uh, new two x four framing under there. Yeah, this ain't going anywhere. So a pretty easy fix for what could have been an annoying problem. Um, next up is to lay down a hardwood floor in this room, but that's for another video. As for now, this quick fix is done. If you like this video and you wanna see more, please subscribe to our channel or click any of these boxes floating around me. Thanks for watching.